If you are a person who needs to relax, regulate, and return after you have a big blow up, you are absolutely no different than your students. Today, I'm going to talk about three apps, two for relaxation and one for regulation so we can get those kids back to class. Hi, my name is Rachel Heron and I'm a specialist with the Patents Project. My areas of specialty are accessible educational materials, assistive technology, emotional disabilities, and Apple accessibility. Today I want to talk about three of um, the apps that are near and dear to my heart because I'm all about allowing kids the freedom to step back, calm down without a lot of questions and a lot of probing and prodding about what has happened, and then to give them some proactive strategies to be able to return to class and to be able to participate with their peers. So the first of the free three apps that I will be talking about today is nothing that needs to be processed. It's called Gravitarium. And you can hear it already starts with some ethereal music that's very calming. And something different happens every time you put a finger on the screen. So if I put down one finger on the screen, it looks kind of like Star Wars. A lot of our kids like that. Two, it changes. Three four, and five. I've watched kids calm down using these apps, just simply not having to process or think about what's happening um, after something happens in class or there's a big blow up, and this is definitely one that is a favorite with kids. All right, so the second app I'd like to share is called Anti-Stress, and it is an app that literally has shelf after shelf of activities that you can use to be able to relax and do that in, the, in your own terms, the way that you like to do it. So let's say, for example, you would like to um, use a block app. There's haptics built in, so you can absolutely move around these blocks. You can feel that vibration. The haptics are the movements, the subtle movements that come through the screen of your tablet. And you can move these around and uh, have that gratifying noise and feeling if that's something that works for you. There's all sorts of different ones. Oh yeah, that relaxation technique that we used to have on our desks, now you have it virtually. Um, just looking at one more, we have um, a pencil sharpener. If you are a person who loves the sound, the scritch scratch of that sound of that pencil going through the pencil sharpener, that might be the tool for you to use to relax as well. So the third app that I'd like to show you, this is one of my personal favorites, um, and it basically is more of a regulation tool. So if you have a kid who really needs to um, think about what happens next, we've calmed down, we've used our app, how are we going to get ourselves back where we need to be in order to participate in class? So you start. It gives you an option to dim your screen and kind of have a moment of silence. A lot of our kids don't get that in their days. Sometimes we don't get that either. Um, we do a quick check-in. It's asking how I am physically, feeling pretty poor. Next, how am I doing mentally? I'm feeling pretty rough today. And you can see that that brain changes to match the emotion. Stopping to say, I think it's also very good to do this with students when they're doing well because part of being able to get back to feeling well is when you know what that looks like and how that feels. So although it's a wonderful tool for when you're going through a struggle, sometimes even better when you just need to figure out how it is to get back to that point. I absolutely believe that we need to equip children with an emotional dictionary because if they don't have any words to tell you how they feel, um, more than sad, mad, bad, unhappy, you can't get to the crux of how they're feeling when they're ready to talk to you. And so I think it's important to not just go through the emotions that are displayed here, but to truly talk about what those mean and what they look like, what the facial expressions are that go along with that. So let's say today my issues are being nervous, afraid, and worried, and then we have a whole dictionary of words that pop up. I'm gonna choose a few. Let's say I feel um, clingy today. Um, I feel a little bit hesitant. I'm feeling guarded. I'm gonna add these. Then it's gonna ask me if I wanna add more and if I'm okay with what's here, we're just gonna keep on moving forward. So let's see the results. And now it has literally prescribed some things for me to do. The things that pop out um, are a couple of different meditation relaxation activities that talk the student through these exact feelings that they put in and how they might come out on the better side of things. So it is a wonderfully proactive. Again, there are more things. This is the free version. There are more things with the, the version that you purchase. But really good for a free app that gets the kids back on track and able to return to class. Thanks again for joining me today to explore these three apps. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And um, don't forget to subscribe.